Hello, my name's Carol Davenport. I'm Professional Development Leader at the National Science Learning Centre in York. And today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of continuing professional development and also about action research and how schools might like to use that to support the development of their staff. A number of schools have realised the importance of professional development being continuous and being something that the teachers are actively taking part in. And in order to support that, they are putting in place action research projects that their staff choose, design and run. These um, action research groups take place over a long time, so they are continuing professional development. They focus really closely often on one or two, well, usually one aspect of teaching and learning or of something that links with the school's development plan. One school that I'm working with up in the northeast have arranged their professional development time in their inset days so that every half term teachers get two hours to work on an inquiry and that takes place over 12 to 16 months. Teachers are helped with a facilitator, they design an inquiry which they will carry out in their classroom They'll then take, de collect data, they'll analyse the data, and most importantly, they'll reflect on their practice and they'll find out what makes effective teacher behaviours. Hattie, in his research, often distinguishes between experienced teachers and expert teachers. Experienced teachers are those who have been teaching for a reasonable length of time, four, five, six years, who know how to teach, they do a good job in their classroom, but they don't develop. Expert teachers are those who are able to put in place effective behaviours, both teacher and learner behaviours, that may encourage students in their classroom to make progress. Using action research really helps that development of expert teachers because it's an ongoing process. Teachers are reflecting on their practice. They're highlighting what's gone well. They're picking out what needs to be changed. And it's a really useful professional development exercise that a school can do without a great deal of external input. Both the National Science Learning Centre and the Science Learning Partnerships throughout the um, country are able to provide school support through action research. We have a number of courses that take teachers on the step-by-step -step process that guide, that put in structure. And again, we try and make it continuing so we, we have it so it's a longer term process. So in, the, in a region, you might have three days of CPD spread over the year where people will come together, work, between schools, share good practice between schools, go back into their school, carry out their action research, come back, refine their question, continue to change and to plan, and then to share their learning and to think about how that learning will be put in place in their school when they go back so that they can then lead action research having done it themselves. So thank you for listening. I hope that my explanation of action research, how it can be used within schools to help develop expert teachers and how the science learning centres can support you, has been of interest. If you'd like to find out more about how the science learning centres can support you and about any of our other courses, you can go and look at sciencelearningcentres.org.uk. Thank you.